Uh, this is President Trump announcing what he wants to do with the Department of Education. Now, before we play this clip real quick, again, everyone's talking about the picks. This is the agenda, and this is why the left is going nuts over the picks, because they know that these people that Trump is putting up for these appointments are going to fulfill or at least do their damnedest to fulfill these proposals. Video clip number one, por favor, Mr. McConnell. And one other thing I'll be doing very early in the administration is closing up the Department of Education in Washington, D.C., and sending all education and education work and needs back to the states. We want them to run the education of our children because they'll do a much better job of it. You can't do worse. We spend more money per pupil by three times than any other nation, and yet we're absolutely at the bottom. We're one of the worst. So you can't do worse. We're going to end education coming out of Washington, D.C. We're going to close it up, all those buildings all over the place. And you have people that, in many cases, hate our children. We're going to send it all back to the states. Thank you very much. Okay, so I literally had somebody message me and ask me, uh, why am I in favor of Trump ruining education for poor kids? You imbecile. Um, that's the complete opposite. Now, this isn't that wasn't Barack Obama you saw that that ruined the D.C. voucher program uh, right, for the young black students uh, in Washington, D.C. That was President Trump saying that the 13, 14 percent of monies that the these uh, these state schools, these states get for education where the federal government literally goes in. And because they give you a little bit of money, they try to control what you say, what you do, what you think. I do believe there should be standardized testing. Obviously, when a person gets into college, even high school, you want to know where they stand. But I believe that could be done at the state level. Now, once you get to college, should there be a federal uh, entry exam? Sure, I'm OK with that as long as it's not woke, as long as it's not common core type stuff. Every state should be able to be the laboratory that they want when it comes to education. There should be school choice so that in the event that a child is going to a school that is absolutely abysmal, that child that wants to do better for himself or herself can go to another school or that child's parents can take them to another school. This takes the power away from the teachers unions who all they seem to be doing is trying to brainwash your kids to be Democrat voters rather than smart, critical thinkers and Americans. Um, you know, send the money back to the state. I absolutely love this. So this is what the left is concerned about. It, the, the, the picks, obviously, they're going to go haywall over the picks because they want you to be distracted about the picks. And, and it's cool to talk about the picks. I've already done some of it today myself, but I'm not going to get all caught up into the picks because, frankly, I can go from I, – I, I can listen to any conservative today, and we're going to talk about the picks, the picks, the picks. But the picks are just a symptom of the greater disease. This is a good disease. This is called freedom because what President Trump is trying to do is restore power to the people. And I love this. This guy is swinging big. I think that I'm going to, I, I got to admit, I was not a Trump supporter back in 2016. I was Ted Cruz all day long because I thought he would be the next Reagan. Reagan. Trump got in and he started deregulating. I know that's not sexy, but when it comes to deregulation, that's my favorite thing. That's how I know somebody is serious about restoring power to the people when they want to deregulate when they want to take power away from the federal government and hand it back to the people. For people that say that, oh, Trump is a dictator, Trump is a tyrant, Trump is an authoritarian to the, the man that I love, a good man, who said, oh, well, now you elected a king. Nah, man, nah, man, I'm sorry, kings don't cut taxes. Kings don't deregulate. That's not what they do. They try to take away from you instead of give back to you. And what President Trump is going to do in this second administration is an attempt to give freedom back to we the people. Man, I am so excited. I don't want to stop. Guys, I can't lie to you. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm already ready for 2026 because I don't want this to stop. I don't want my daughter to inherit a world that's I want my daughter to inherit a world that's better than the one that I lived in an America that's better. And we're going to try to make sure that it happens. So I'm thankful for President Trump. I'm thankful for the staff that he's picking. I'm thankful that we have the House and the Senate.